We were curious about uh, the fact that um, there is a lot of what are called social preferences uh, that, that occur in the laboratory. So this is the idea that uh, compared to what economic models say, people are sort of kinder, gentler, nicer, less selfish, uh, more giving than, than what the standard model predicts. And so uh, what this has led the, the, the profession to do is to think about you know, how should we incorporate these preferences or should we incorporate these preferences into our models. The point of this research was to ask, is it true? So, so how much of this is just a unique phenomenon of you know, undergraduate sophomores in a laboratory setting and how much is sort of more fundamental to, um, to human nature? So we hit upon uh, two industries that we thought were very competitive industries and ones that we wouldn't typically think of as being marked by uh, I don't know, the generosity of the human spirit. Uh, and those were um, the domain name traders, called domainers, and adult industry professionals, so, so people in the pornography business. For the domainers, we were mainly interested in uh, trust and uh, trustworthiness and what's uh, considered to be, uh, in economics, the difference between uh, intrinsic and extrinsic in incentives to be trustworthy. So that is to say the difference between guilt, which we think of as a sort of inward thing, and shame, which is a kind of outward thing. So, uh, so, so in order to test this, we uh, had them participate in something called an investment game. And so in an investment game, they have to decide whether they want to invest uh, with a randomly chosen partner. They don't know who their partner is. And if they choose to invest, then they risk some money, uh, which they could have kept. Uh, but the upside is that if they invest, then the money is tripled in value roughly. However, it's a little bit uncertain. So sometimes the investment can pay off and sometimes the investment can't pay off. If the investment pays off, however, the partner now has control of all of the money. And the partner can decide whether to give back any of that money, any or all of that money, uh, to the person who, uh, uh, to the investor, uh, if you'd like. So uh, to de a trusting response is to invest. Right? So you have to trust that your partner is actually going to give back uh, the investment if it's successful and that you'll get a return on your investment. And trustworthy behavior is from the perspective of the partner, do you give back the money or do you keep it? Now for the inside versus the outside aspect of it. So uh, in the guilt treatment, uh, we, had, we don't actually say whether the investment was successful or not. Right? So the only thing that the, par the partner could always sort of pretend, he's got plausible deniability, that in fact, look, the investment didn't work out. I didn't give you anything back because there was nothing to give back. And that happened with a small probability. Under the guilt treatment, we actually told what the partner did. Okay, so now the partner's behavior, whether he kept the money or not, is being disclosed to, to the investor. So, so there, there's a shame element. What we found uh, is that uh, the, uh, these internet business people were remarkably uh, trusting and trustworthy. In fact, much more so than Berkeley undergraduates. For our domainers, we ran this trust stuff. And for our um, uh, adult industry, for pornographers, uh, what we looked at were different aspects of other regarding preferences. So here we were interested in altruism and uh, what's called lying aversion. So, so altruism is the idea that um, under, even though there's no compulsion uh, to be generous uh, with one's money, uh, one might be generous. With respect to trust and trustworthiness uh, in the investment game, we found that uh, domainers were about uh, twice as likely to trust their partner. And moreover, that trust was repaid because uh, the partner was about twice as likely to prove trustworthy uh, as Berkeley undergraduates. So we ran the same experiment with uh, pornographers uh, and, and asked them uh, what they wanted to do. And uh, so here what we found is that rather than leaving three $1 bills uh, in the envelope, uh, obviously the stakes are higher actually for pornographers, so it's more like $31 bills, um, they would leave $41 bills out of the $101 bills. So they were about a third more generous. With respect to altruism, uh, we found that uh, internet pornographers were about 25% more altruistic than Berkeley undergraduates. Moreover, when we asked them about uh, how much money uh, they had received versus how much money they gave, 
uh, they were half as likely to lie about this uh, as Berkeley undergraduates in order to make themselves uh, perhaps look better. After we had the, the, the results of these experiments, uh, we puzzled over it. We scratched our heads as to what could be going on. And we actually talked after the experiments were over to a lot of the subjects in our experiments to ask them you know, what drove them, what motivated them. And I think the, the story that we thought was uh, most compelling, we heard this from a number of uh, the domainers, uh, went something like this. I said, look, in the domain business, um, the law is not actually very well worked out. So unlike, say, real property, uh, where you know, there's a formal court apparatus and property rights are kind of well established and contracts are well established, the internet is more like the Wild West, right? So there's not the property rights of lawyers and things like that. Things are not so well established. And the way that you do business, the way that you survive in, 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 this, in this business is through cooperation and trust and that a lot of deals are done on a handshake. I think the same is true actually in the, uh, in the pornography industry. So there, uh, teamwork is very important. So, so working up and down the supply chain, you've got um, uh, content aggregators, content producers, directors who are working with talent, trying to find, uh, you, you need to go out and search and, and have social connections uh, in order to get new content. And so working together, working as a team and being trustworthy uh, is absolutely an essential part of, uh, of making the whole thing work. The fact that those uh, characteristics uh, of human behavior uh, are not just confined to you know, undergraduate sophomores uh, put in a, an artificial laboratory setting, but actually manifest themselves more broadly uh, across industries, across different types of people, uh, I think is, it makes me feel better about living in the world.